This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel. There's my niche up soon and my niche to me to decide. And every single day I do bring you that content about sneakers and upcoming sneaker releases. And today it's an absolute banger. I'm wearing my Adidas birthday hoodie, which means the Adidas sneaker today. And it's an absolute poppin' 4D sneaker. It's a collaboration between the Adidas brand and Yoji Yamamoto. They've been collaborating for more than 15 years. And it's a chance to finally see a different color on that 4D midsole. As I said in the introduction today, it's all about Adidas and Yoji Yamanoto collaborating together on the Y3 Runner 4D2 black white. And it's called the 4D2 because the, the outsole, the, not the outsole, the midsole is changing color. And it's one of the, the first times that they've changed that color. Originally, the 4D color was a sort of lime green color on there, but they're changing it up here. And it's a kind of cream color now. There have been a couple of other releases of this 4D uh, midsole in a different color in this different white or, or cream color but this is the first one that I brought to you to review with you guys uh, so it's an exciting thing for for me to do I'll be bringing you that sneaker in about 30 seconds when I've uh, actually uh, after I've said please subscribe to the channel I'm trying to grow the channel well of course I'm trying to grow the channel nobody sits on uh, a channel like this and not try and grow it of course I want to grow it so please do hit me up with the subscribe down below Toroko Toroko suruto ano channel wa okiku naru to okane ni naru de okane ni natta ra sneaker wa te ni hairu no de and I really do need you guys to hit that subscribe because that's how I will get sneakers in hand. Uh, I'm not a rich man, but the way I want to generate money through the channel and then pump that back in to get sneakers in hand. So please do hit the subscribe button down below. Okay, let's get into this sneaker, the uh, Y3 Runners uh, 4D2 Black White, um, which is a collaboration with Yoji Yamamoto. Now, Yoji Yamamoto, like I said before, has been doing collaborations with the Adidas brand for more than 15 years. The first one was in 2003 and they tend to have a black and white signature sort of look to them. Now the 4D technology, when you put that on the bottom of a sneaker, straight away you're in an, into the huge price range, the two, 250, 300 pounds, uh, 350, $400, that kind of price range. Um, and in Japan, that, that translates to about 40,000 to 50,000 yen. These guys here, because they're also a collaboration, so it's not just the 4D, but it's also a collaboration, the Y3 collaboration, holy smokes, they're expensive. Uh, I think I saw them quoted at 600 dollars uh, so you're looking at maybe about 400 pounds um, and something like 60,000 70,000 yen which is a whole heap of coin to pay for a sneaker I would love to get a pair of 4d sneakers myself but that kind of money I mean regular sneakers it's hard enough for me to buy them uh, but 4d sneakers running into the 60 70,000 yen mark that's way beyond my reach but it's not going to stop me showing them to you because they are a phenomenal looking sneaker so let's start off by having a look at that lacing system around the top there's an interesting sort of looping effect that goes on around that lacing system there um, which is a great place to start looking at the sneaker but then when you go up to the top of that towards where the tongue kind of would be, but there doesn't seem to be a tongue there. Uh, you've got Yoji Yamamoto's signature right across there, which is kind of a cool feature. And then that leads into the three stripe branding in black and white that runs, uh, gosh, what would we call that? Are we going to call that horizontally? I think we can call that horizontally. It's a bit hard to describe because it's on the tongue and it depends where the shoes are. If the shoes were standing up on their toes, then it would be vertically. Uh, but let's just call it horizontally anyway, that coming from the, uh, the lacing system towards the ankle, and towards the top line, uh, you've got this black and white three stripe branding that runs into there. And that motif of the three stripe branding in black and white is sort of then expanded on in the top line of the sneaker where you've got this sort of sock effect. Um, and it really helps to, uh, to add an element of design. You know, black and white sneakers can be a bit of a challenge to make them have a bit of pop about them. But the way they've got the black and white striping, which is mimicked in the three stripe branding on the tongue, but then expanded around the top line, uh, it really does look good. I think it's a really cool look for the sneaker. Uh, and then when you get to the back, uh, to the heel section, there's a, a, what looks like some kind of lace holder, which is, uh, I think, designed to hold the sort of lacing system in place, but I'm not 100% sure. But what I am interested in on there is the Y-3, the Y-3 branding on there. Uh, and I just love little discrete hints of branding and, and uh, design in sneakers. It's one of my favorite things uh, to look for on sneakers. 
And the last thing to look for on this particular sticker is that midsole that I was telling you about. So originally most of the 4Ds, if not all of the 4D midsoles were in this sort of lime green, very light lime green colorway. Uh, but now we've got this cream, uh, slightly yellowed look to the, the 4D midsole in there, which is a new feature um, for me. First time I've seen it on a sneaker, even though I know there are other sneakers that do have that colored 4D midsole. And also, which surprised me, uh, they've, they've gone for the continental outsole on these, which I I thought they had always perhaps used uh, and, and you know a high quality outsole but it turns out that this is the first time they put a continental outsole as far as I know I might be wrong please tell me if I am I have no problem being wrong and people telling me about it so definitely let me know if I'm wrong about this but it's the first time they've put a continental outsole on that 4D midsole. Uh, what is interesting about that continental outsole is because you usually see them on ultra boost to continental outsoles uh, and, and on the ultra boost they tend to have little tiny windows that look through to the boost midsole uh, but you don't see that here at all and I'm assuming that's to prevent any wear or tear on the actual 4D midsole itself so uh, instead of having those little windows that look through the uh, outsole into the midsole you can see it's just a whole black single unit of an, an outsole uh, and that said I've, I've been saying recently I'm trying to pare back my videos to about five minutes long and this feels like it's probably close to five maybe six minutes of a video uh, which is good because it means that I'll be able to balance my life uh, YouTube family and work commitments much more effectively when I do these shorter videos so I hope you appreciate that out there if you do hit the subscribe button down below uh, tomorrow I'll be coming back with a Vapormax the first Vapormax well, the first single Vapormax I think I've done a review of for the channel. Uh, I've done a couple in, in um, like sets of Vapormaxes that have been coming out together or part of the, was the Chinese New Year, did that have a Vapormax in it? I'm not sure if it did to be honest. Uh, but anyway, this is the first single one, it's the Oreo colorway and I kind of like black and white and that's why I'm reviewing this uh, Y3 sneaker and then tomorrow the Oreo Vapormaxes. So definitely check out that tomorrow. And without further ado, I'll do what I do at the end of every video and say thank you for checking in and I will see you tomorrow tomorrow.